Hi everyone, my name is Simon and welcome back to Little Nightmares, episode number 6. I had to drop my control for that. So last time we escaped. We escaped the cooks, the chefs. We made them pay for what they did to us. But now they're back. And it was probably all for nothing. But in the end it wasn't because then we can escape. It's a horrible place. And I fall down, fell down too quick. And now we can't get wrapped the statue. And I'm sad. Okay, so let's get into the elevator. Move up to unknown places. Hi. Can we fall down again? I really want to get wrapped that statue. Gara gara wrap that statue. Uh, I'm just running. Oh! Why are they keeping them in these rooms? And are they sleeping there? What's going on? This is horrifying. Oh, this is so. Why is this such a flag flashback? Oh, I got smushed there. Oh, they're just continuing. I don't know what's going on. It's just general confusion up in there. But this was such a flashback to Spirited Away. Hi. Hug him. You don't need that bucket. Can, you can do better than that. Can I? <laughs> okay, can't climb him. What's on the other side? Am I not allowed to see? Just my shadow? Okay, I'm touching an invisible wall. Great. So now let's move on. We touched we we touched the gnome. If you know what I mean. And yeah, now we have to escape them again. It's just, I I don't know what to say about this. I I just I would have to act horrified. And I am, believe me. But general overall confusion about everything is a little bit stronger than that. Uh, okay, down the stairs. As I said, this is flashback to straight, of, straight to Spirited Away. I don't know anything about Spirited Away, but it's it's just memories. Oh, they're so close. They're so close. How am I? So okay, I won't jump. I probably am faster when I'm not jumping. But I want to play it safe. Okay, don't jump, just run. Don't run, 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 and jump. Just run, 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 and run. <sighs> yeah, I seem to be fast. Oh, that's not the stairs. I think that that's a place where they're sleeping. But I have no idea how they heard me. I don't know. Run six little six. Move yourself up. Pull yourself up. Run away, run away, run away, run away. I pressed grab. I did everything I had to, but it wasn't enough for Bandai Namco. Okay, keep it in the middle. Why are you not running? Six, you seriously have to start running now. Jump. I did it. Whew. Nice hat. And a light. Light it. Light the candle. Thank you. Thank you, Six. There was so much food back then. So much. All over the place. Food. Oh, that's a drawing of the mall. Was the Chinese lady gonna come and give us food? We, we can't continue any further. I hugged a lot of you. 
No, 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 why are you even going home? Six. Six, no. What the fuck are you? What the hell? They're so cute. I just ate one of them. Wow. Hello, James Liddy. We have to move to the left, though. Oh, okay, we do have to move to the right. But I found that, and that's great. I just missed one. Uh, but the course of the entire game. Well, at least I hope that I only missed one. Can we... Okay, we're strong enough to lift that, but we're probably not strong enough to... Oh, yeah, we are. I would be strong enough if I would be competent enough to throw it that high. Let's stand there and throw it. No, that's too far away. I can understand that, Six. But I just... At the moment, I do hate you. Because of what you did. You ate one of my friends. So we're following her. She's the next enemy. That's for sure now. But... What? <laughs> uh, the gnome thing really threw me off now. Um, I thought we were friends. Friends for life. She smashed a mirror. Um, okay. Uh, just continue. Moving on. Push forward. Oh, that eye is looking at us. Move too high. I don't know why it got darker for a second. Move up the stairs. There's a key somewhere. Just have to find it. Oh, is she singing or humming at least? Oh, I'm pretty sure she's able to sing this. Oh no, I can't do anything. I have to move. My controller is slightly vibrating. There's a very, very subtle heartbeat in the background. And now my controller is going nuts. Heartbeat's going stronger. The controller is not stopping. I hate the broken piece of shit. Why are we in her bedroom? There's a vase. Probably don't want to kill that. Okay, there's the key in the vase. Got it. Got it. You know what, controller? I hate you. I hate you from time to time. Yeah, I have to, I have to smash that vase. I like how I predicted that. Is she not coming? Is she different? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, she's gone. Was she able to make herself invisible? Okay, you know what? Let's drop the key. Jump on top of the stair. Stairs. Grab that. Jump down. Throw it. So, honestly, that is way more horrifying than someone who's just charging at you. Oh, she's in the closet, isn't she? She left? 
Does she know that we're here? Is she the most intelligent being on the mall? I think so, according to her room. The size of her room, because the janitor just had a really small room. The chefs are stupid as fuck. Is she in charge of the mall? Does she know everything? Did she build the mall? Even more questions! <sighs> Oh, she's... she's gonna pop out somewhere! I knew it, I knew it, I knew it! She's gonna pop out one of her mannequins! Ha! <laughs> she can't move through walls, I'm, I'm pretty sure she can. She can possess her mannequins, which is, um... A lot more horrifying than I thought it would be. Also, there's a lot of wigs. Controller. Okay. What am I supposed to do? This room is huge. Now I'm in the middle of the room. Now I'm on the side of the room. The controller stopped. Oh, I just had to move through here. Yeah, I might just make a huge ass room, probably the biggest one in this whole game, and... Um... Oh, I saw that! On the eye! Do we have to kill? Oh, That's a mirror. She killed all the other mirrors. Uh, killed, she smashed them, she broke them. So, am I supposed to fend her off with a mirror? Okay, I'll follow the light. Fuck you! Okay, yeah, this this works. Just have to carry it over there. Because now I'm pretty sure she can't just inherit shadows. She doesn't actually need the mannequins. Or does she? Is that the last boss fight? Come on. Left or right, left or right, left or right, left or right. Back, back. Okay. Hey. 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 <laughs> Three times in a row. We did it, guys. That was so hard. It's probably not over, though. Okay. <laughs> Just rotate her out, dance around in the middle, and taunt her. Taunt her because she's incompetent. Huh? 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 I'm not afraid of you. Ha <laughs> ha. I don't know why I'm falling back though, I mean, it's just a mirror. It's just light six. You should be able to handle these that much. Okay. The best tactic against her is really just to rotate around because as soon as you hit her once, it's locked onto her. Oh no, our mirror broke. Did she break too? Please! Phone, shut up over there! Her mask fell off. Oh no, I'm a, am I going to eat her? Six, you, you have to stop devouring living things. Was Six the one to end the maw? Born to destroy the ruling powers. Oh yeah, I'm... I'm... Fucking savage. Oh, what 
what the fuck? I mean, with least. Sorry for the flashes, just had to. Are we the antagonist? Honestly. It could be it, right? I mean, we hugged a lot of gnomes, but then we ate one. The moor is a horrifying place, but. That doesn't mean we're the good guys. This music is so amazing. I listen to it every single day. Now we inherit the power of the Chinese woman. We just kill everyone. as much as you want we are not we are not good ones. we escaped the mall we did it Don't follow me. I'm gonna get killed. What are you even? What was happening? Guys, I don't know what was going on in the last 10 minutes. We ate a gnome out of nowhere. We ate our only friends. They offered us food. We ate them. What is six? We, we've seen some kids, probably, yeah, orphans. Was six one of them? I don't think so. Six, we woke up in a suitcase. The first thing we saw was someone who hanged himself with extremely long feet. Probably the counterpart to the gender with extremely long hands, my guess. And what I don't understand is that... Never once was it said that we're the good guys. And... Honestly, up until the end, I would have believed that we were the good guys. The mall is the bad thing. And we were escaping it because it's a horrifying place. There's no black and white in this game. The Chinese... We, we just... We killed the Chinese woman in cold blood. We devoured her. We literally ate her. We bit off her neck. And got her powers. Um... We cut off the janitor's hands. The only ones that got off unscarred were the cooks, the chefs. 
I don't know why I'm all saying cooks. It's called chefs. This game was amazing and is in my top three most loved games. Top one being so much, second being Bioshock Infinite, and third Little Nightmares. Honestly, I'm thinking about buying the sixth edition because I do own the game on Steam. But the sixth edition, you, you get you get a six feet, you get you get a figure, and it only it's only thirty five bucks. Which is relatively cheap compared to other deluxe editions where one figure costs like 100 bucks or something. Which is a total waste of money. So, uh, back to the game. We escaped the mall. We escaped every single horrible being in this place. It's just, um... There is no story, real story behind this game. Sorry, I'm just making myself comfortable now. <sighs> never once was anything told. There was never a story being told. There was only a little girl in a yellow raincoat waking up. In a gross place. A horrifying tragedy, as you might think. A place where she gets encountered at first with little gnomes. Gnomes that run away from her, they're scared, they're smaller, but they resemble her in some way. They have this spiked hat. Her hat looks similar. Then the second thing she sees is a man, a dead man hanging from the roof. Only being able to see his feet. Is there so long or her feet? I'm sorry, it's 2017. After that, she encounters many more tragic things horrible things things not made to be seen by children's eyes but then again what are we we see orphans being raised by the janitor we don't know anything else about it they are raised we see them sleeping in their beds we assume that it's horrifying for them because the janitor looks... <laughs> he looks... Horrifying. I don't know why I keep using this word, but it, it just describes everything perfectly. And then we see one kid alone. Giving us some bread to survive. Otherwise we would have died. The janitor's looking for us. He wants to catch us, capture us. He puts us to the other kids that we're probably escaping or we're bad. He also put them in cages. Which then underline the fact, or at least the theory, that Six is escaping this place. That she was one of them and is now going to survive all of this. We don't know what happened to the kids. We do know that they're there. Our last encounter with the janitor is that we cut off his hands. Now the blind and short man doesn't have hands. The only thing that's left is his hearing. We basically murdered someone. It was horrifying. At the time, we celebrated our victory because we were at this. We were sided with Six. She was our utmost and dearest companion. She was our protagonist, our hero, the one who will escape the mall for the first time, or as far as we know. Then we encountered the chefs, greasy, ugly, and. Weirdly moving creatures made to scare us, to haunt us, to taunt us. We were made to taunt them basically in the end. We are smarter than them, they're dumb as fuck, they can't move properly because they're fat. We did not kill them, but we escaped them and we made them break a lot of plates and glasses and wine bottles as we escaped. After that, we saw the light for the first time. We escaped the mall and hung on the house outside of it, the outside hull. 
from there we saw round weird blobs entering the mall. Why would you enter the mall, you think? Out of your own free will. Then again, you remember the chefs are cooking. For whom? For the children? They had only, only had bread and very simple meals. Then we see them, they have a feast. A feast going on forever, supposedly. After that, we once more encounter the chefs, at least one of them, where the second one went off to, we do not know. And we escape him through a broken mirror. We move up the elevator, escape more of these fat fucks. As they try to kill us once more, as they try to eat us, devour us. Then, we encounter our bodies, the gnomes, one last time. Thank you for playing. We encounter them one last time. They offered us food in order to survive. We were starving. And we brutally murdered him. The gnome. We ate him. After that, Six probably had a taste for blood. We went into quarters of the Chinese woman. In there, it was huge, it was a nice place, but all the mirrors were shattered. We were sneaking past her as she was singing, broke her vase, stole her key, and then she was gone. We thought that she was, would hunt us, she wasn't. We entered a huge room filled with mannequins, looking like the woman. In the next room, we found a mirror, the last mirror in her room. The mirror we used to kill her, or not to kill her, to paralyze her more or less. We both were unconscious, for how long we do not know. And as we saw the woman lying on the ground, we ate her, we killed her. Broke her neck, ripped out her spine, and tasted her blood. From that point on, we no longer identify with Six as being our hero, our protagonist. She's our protagonist, but not our hero. The killing the gnome was one sign that Six is not, the, is not a nice person. And then killing the Chinese woman set that in stone. We entered the mall, we left, we exited the mall, by killing at least 10 to 20 people. They were ugly and greasy, they were trying to kill us. Well, we killed them in cold blood. Now, we are outside of the mall. We did. Well, we wanted to. Okay. That was a quick recap. Oh man, that was fun. That was so fun to do. Okay. <laughs> um, so, we just exited the lab, the stairs, came out here. That's an island. The moor was floating, a junk of ma a hunk of metal. metal. In the middle of nowhere. And now we're in an island. We were still in the mall a second ago, now we're on an island. Is, is the sea just. Is there a second level of sea? The mall is a weird place. And we'll never coming back here. <laughs> Thank you.